Hello and welcome to Die Hard United, the one stop for everything Manchester United. I'm here to bring you all the latest Manchester United transfer news coming out today from Fabrizio Romano, the GOAT of transfers. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, come on, leave a comment in the comment section and yes, like and follow and share this video, share this video, share this video, most especially you guys on Facebook, come on, share this video to every other person so that we can all get updated. But Here we Go. Starting with the very first thing on the agenda, um, Fabrizio Romano said, Mikel Olise, of course, the French, um, born Christopher Palace winger, um, Mikel Olise, um, Fabrizio Romano said, um, it is 100% approved internally across the new footballing department. There will be competition for him this summer, which may not make any day for him a quick one. So according to Fabrizio Romano, my United have all agreed. Everybody internally have agreed that Mikel Olise is a target for us and we are going to go out for him. But of course, like, like it, it says, there will be huge competition for him. He has a release clause. So anybody can pay that release clause and it will be down to him to you know, choose where he wants to go to. Although the reports previously was that, um, he favors the move to United. But of course, if Chelsea comes in, if Man City comes in, if Liverpool comes in, he could choose to go to any other place but right here right now we have internally it has been agreed by Ineos and everybody internally that Michael Olise is a target for us so because there will be a lot of competition it might take a while for a deal to happen but let's see what happens on that but as he said 100% approved is definitely a target and there will be more updates for sure concerning that deal as we move forward. And to the second news um for today, Fabrizio Romano said um the center back situation is still very open. Jared Brightweight is expected to be a target, but Everton are still undecided on their price tag for him. Jared Brightweight, I think he's 21 years old, center back for Everton has had a very good season. Um this season is also linked to Manchester City and other Premier League clubs. Um it is said that um Everton's price tag for him will probably be very high. So but Everton are also in a financial situation. So, of course, they can't be, in, you can't be in need of money and be quoting stupid um, fees for your, for your players. But, uh, the season is over. I'm very sure a price tag for him will be, will be announced or will be known very, very soon because, you know, clubs are getting straight into business. It is already the end of the season. So let's see what happens with that. But we know we have other, um, center back targets like Jean Claire Todibo at Nice. We have, um, um, and Gleson Bremer at Juventus. We have other um, center back target that we'll be looking at because um Varane is leaving. Maguire, Lindelof, any of those players um could leave, and at some point we might probably have to sign two um center backs if we have many exits in the center back um position. And also um Fabrizio Mano said if United want to go for an experienced name up front, if Antonio will be one of the targets. Internal discussions are still ongoing over the profile of center forward we would like to sign. So according to Fabrizio Romano, if we want to go for a more experienced striker to assist um, my Rasmus Hoyland, um, if Anthony would be one of those options. That's also, we, are, we have also been linked to Yoselu, who is the striker at Real Madrid. And um, according to Fabrizio Romano, of course, we haven't, we haven't really um, decided on what we what we want to sign uh, up for up front. Is it going to be an older striker or is it going to be a younger striker? But in terms of younger striker, Fabrizio also said Leipzig have offered Benjamin Sesko um, a new deal, promising to be, promising him to be a star player with a much bigger release clause. Also today, Benjamin Sesko have had offers from some from Saudi Arabia, but of course he's not going to go. But he's one of the one of the strikers. United are being linked with. He's a young striker. So if we are going for a young striker, his, his name will be one of um, one of them there. If we are going for an older striker, we'll have Ivan Tony and Yoselu and uh, there also. But also in terms of um Ivan Tony, Fabrizio Mano said Brentford are keeping their cards closed to their chest in relation to evaluation for Ivan Tony. Sixty million pounds could be a fee you'd consider if it remains to be seen. That's too expensive for us to sign a a a, a a striker to, uh, to back up, um, Rasmus Hoyland. We spent over 72 million pounds or 72 million euro to sign Rasmus Hoyland, which might be around 60 million pounds. We can't spend 60 million pounds again to sign a new striker. Uh, we need to sign at least 40 million pounds should be the least money we should spend signing a new striker. That's why I, I feel we might probably go for a, an older option and definitely not Ivan Tony. Maybe, although Ivan Tony is Premier League proven, but 60 million for a striker is too expensive. 
But according to Fabrizio Romano, that is what um, Brentford might be open to accepting for 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 Ivan Tony if any clubs could uh, be willing to bid that. And to Mason Greenwood, Fabrizio Romano said clubs in England, Italy and Spain are interested in Mason Greenwood. An early exit could be likely. Of course, uh, the season will be over in the Spanish league. I think the season will be over next week or is already over. And I'm not really sure. But I'm very sure Mason Greenwood would want to know his future, where he's going to go to before he comes back from holiday. So if the season is over, if the season is over in the Spanish league yesterday, um, he will probably be on holiday this week. Uh, and if, in a few weeks, so I think when when those few weeks are up, he would like to know where he he his future will lie. But you know, we still don't know what is going to happen with Mason Greenwood. Like I've said before, Mason Greenwood is highly likely to leave Manchester United. So if you want him to stay, prepare your mind because, like I said, also Man United are putting all their effort in selling Mason Greenwood to the highest bidder. We want a bidding one for him. Um, clubs in England, England, Italy, Spain, and even I'm sure some Saudi clubs will want him. They are all interested in Mason Greenwood, so he's down um, to the clubs that give us a better fee. And if we don't get any good fee for him, he might probably go on loan to Gattafi once again. And next summer, when he has one year left in his contract, we might look at selling, selling him again or bringing him back to the squad. So that's that for that. No major update on Mason Greenwood, but in the coming weeks, we'll definitely get updates on everything. And also, um, according to Fabrizio Romano, he said, Jadon Sancho's priority is to stay at Borussia Dortmund next season and he also said uh, and also from other sources it is said my United wants around 50 million pounds for Jadon Sancho the same price they offered to a Saudi Arabian club last summer right here right now I don't think any club will pay 50 million pounds for Jadon Sancho even Dortmund cannot pay 50 million pounds for Jadon Sancho um his valuation has dropped massively I think a fifth around 30 million pounds would be okay for Sancho but 50 million pounds, I doubt if any club will, will pay, will pay, will pay that. And of course, Sancho is playing, is, is happier. He's not playing wow at Dortmund, but he's happier at Dortmund. He's playing a lot more better than he has ever did at, in England for the past many years. But now he has, he's back at Dortmund. He's playing very well. The season is, um, the season is over for them. Um, they are in the Champions League final. After the Champions League final, we would like to sort out his future very, very soon. If the Hag is going to, if the Hag stays, Sancho probably has no future at the club. If Tenag goes, maybe he might want to come back and play and, you know, and try his luck under a new manager. But as of, as of now, like Fabrizio Romano said, Jadon Sancho's priority is to stay at Dortmund. So maybe we agree on a new loan fee, a new loan agreement, or we agree on a, on a signing fee. But it is highly likely he might go on loan again instead of us, um, Selling him this summer, I don't think Dortmund will. Dortmund will. It is prof, it is more better for Dortmund to get him alone again than to sign him. So I don't know. And on to the next news, it says internal discussions are ongoing over whether to bring a new right back in this summer. My United scouts are a big fan of Jeremiah Frimpong. Yeah, Frimpong has been linked to United since last season. Uh, ever since not ever since uh, ever since Ten Hag came to United two years ago. I've always been linked with Jeremy Frimpong. He has had a fantastic season um, at um, Bayern Leverkusen. They won the league undefeated. They, they, in two fi- they have two finals more to play. So they have been awesome. And he has been a very integral part in how well they have been playing. He's not, going to cost too m- he's not going to cost too much money. I think around £30 million or so. That's what he's going to cost. £30, £40 million. But the problem, the problem is we are yet to decide if Wambisaka will leave. If Bambisaka leave, then we might need to sign a new right back to go along with um, Teokutalo. So, outgoings will determine what we do on the right back position. But Fabrizio Romano have always said that a left back is priority for us. We want to sign a young left back this summer. We already have Shaw, we have Malaysia. Both are terribly injury prone. So we need to sign, we want to sign a new right, a new left back and a young one at that. But as of now, there are no names out there, but when a name comes out, then um, Fabrizio Romano will give us that, and I'll be here to also tell you that also. And also, for Fabrizio Romano, he said, United are prioritizing centre-back and left-back additions. So, like I said, left-back position. Um, particularly, particularly players that have a lot of years ahead of them and can be first-team players in the near future. So, that means we're looking at signing maybe from 19 to like 22-year-olds, young Strong center backs and left back, 
that can give us you no know, seven eighty eight years in this team at high level. So that and they can de- basically players that can come in and develop that have that are talented and can develop into much much more better than they already are. So that would be that would be good to see. And on on, on outgoings, Fabrizio Manu said Casemiro is highly likely to leave United this summer. There are clubs from Saudi Arabia that are interested in Casemiro. So don't be surprised if Casemiro leaves. Um, also watch out to see what happens with Maguire and Lindelof. Those are ones to keep an eye for. And yeah, we have some players living on the free transfer. But yeah, that's basically what Fabrizio Manu had to say today as of now concerning anything transfer news uh Manchester United. But yeah, leave a comment. Tell me which of these transfer news rumors are you excited about? Who do you think we should bring in in centre-back position, in left-back position? Who do you think should be the striker up front? Should we go for a younger striker or should we go for an older striker? Leave a comment in the comment section and I will see you all on the next one.